one. Now this video will teach you how to fix the model 2 issue. Now I have connected one Western digital hard drive to DFL SRP firmware repair hardware. And now we enter the program, auto get detail, and then we enter this program. Sometimes if we find model 2 is damaged, then the hard drive ID may not be detected properly. So at this time, we need to fix the model 2. How can we find which module is damaged? So we just enter this module list interface test selected ID. Now we can see that this is the deep green mode. So this color means the model is good. So we don't need to repair it. Sometimes if all the modules are good but still the data error is not accessible. So at this time, we can try to double click to open the module and check if the data is there or not. I mean the hex data. Sometimes if this is 0, 0, all 0, 0, that means this module has problem. This is the most important module, the translator module. It must contain some hex data inside. If all zero, then users need to clear the modules, clear the translator, and then regenerate the translator. So right click test selected ID. This method will help to find out which firmware module is corrupted and then repair it now in this in this video supposing the module 2 is damaged how to generate the module 2 we need to go to the firmware operations and there is one menu called generate modules then we simply click Generate model 2. Before we generate the modules, we need to back up, back up all the firmware modules. Okay? We check the not window. We can find out the modules are being back up. After now we can see that all the modules have been read successfully. Besides we need to back up the ROM modules. Read ROM modules. Click OK. Then all the ROM modules are back up. And also, we can back up the ROM too. But it's very quick to back up all the firmware resources. And there is also one, one menu called Read All Resources. So it will read all the modules, tracks, ROM, and ROM modules. This one is very easy to back up all. But sometimes, when the drive is unstable, we just need to select the most important firmware modules to back up. And don't need to back up all the firmware modules. Now, let's try to generate this module, module 2. Now in the log window, we can find out here the module 2 has been regenerated and stored in the folder called generated module. Now let's try to open this working directory and say if the module 2 has been generated or not. Generated module, module 2. Now we can see that this is the generated model 2. Sometimes when this module is damaged, 
we can use this method to generate and then we write this module. We can write by ID, write by ABA. So it's very easy now to write the generated module. Or we can double click to open the module to select all and replace selected and then selected the generated module here this is generated module then click right so this is also another method to write a generated module thank you for watching this video if you have any more questions please email to sales at dorpendatalab.com or at dorpenskype id dorpen dot